Today in this video, I'd like to introduce you to Filmora 13, which is an industry-leading, easy-to-use video editing software. Filmora 13 has recently released quite a few powerful AI features, such as AI music generation, AI text-to-video, AI translation, and more, which are going to be very helpful for both you and me. Other features include keyframing, motion tracking, speed ramping, instant mode, preset templates, and so on. In terms of effects, Filmora offers a wide range of options, including video effects, green screen, masking, AI portrait, and many more. Additionally, Filmora provides access to stock media from platforms like Jiffy, Pixels, Pixabay, and Unsplash. So grab a chair, sit back, and enjoy a cup of tea. Without further ado, let's dive right in. And yes, we're excited to announce a special opportunity. We're offering three lucky individuals the chance to win a Filmora license. Simply share your Filmora experience in the comment section below for a chance to be selected. All right, to be sure to leave a comment. Filmora 13 is available for PC, laptop, Mac, and mobile devices. The good thing is that its price is much lower compared to other video editing software. You can get their yearly plan for just $49, which I think is quite affordable. So I've provided the link in the description below so you can try their seven day free trial. So simply download Filmora 13 on your device. All right, after the software is installed, you'll have a dashboard like this. Here on the bottom side, you'll find many useful AI tools that provide you with different features. We'll discuss them later. All right, let's create a new project right now. So I'll just create a new project. You'll see a dashboard like this. There are many tools and panels in it that you'll gradually understand. And at the end of the video, I'll introduce you to all the AI features of Filmora. So watch the video till the end. Okay, so first of all, here we need to import media files. I have a voiceover, so I'll just drag and drop the voiceover. Then I'll add it to the timeline as well. Perfect. Now you can zoom in and zoom out the timeline like this, or you can also do it from here. Then you can adjust the music layer like this. Okay, before moving forward, just listen to this voiceover for a moment. Hey everyone. Today, I'm going to share some tips on how you can turn your passion for video editing into a lucrative source of income. Let's dive right in. First, freelancing. So you may have noticed that there are long pauses in the voiceover. We need to remove them because too many pauses in the video reduce engagement. I know you'll use the same simple method to remove pauses, You'll cut them one by one, then delete them. If you have a long voiceover, it will take a lot of time. But in Filmora, you can remove all pauses in one click. For that, you need to select the music layer, then go to the Smart Edit tool, then go to Silence Detection. Now here, you need to set the maximum pause duration. So, you simply need to click on Analyze, and boom! Within a second, all silences will be removed from the voiceover. After that, simply click on Finish and Replace. Perfect. After this, we need to add some media files like videos and images with this voiceover. For that, you need to go to the stock media, and you'll see that you have a lot of stock media available in the Filmora library, such as grid background, gradient, motion background, and many more. And you can freely use them in your project. Besides, within Filmora, you also get access to some popular stock websites. It means you can directly download and add stock footage from here. You don't need to go to the website repeatedly. Simply search for related queries here, then download them, and then simply add them to the timeline. All right, so now I'll quickly add stock footage to the timeline according to the voiceover. This process will take a lot of time, so I'll fast forward this part. I hope you all will understand. Okay, as you can see, I've added stock media. Now, for example, I don't want the part after this, or if I need to edit anything in this voice. So Filmora offers us a text-based editor. You need to right-click on this voice layer, and from here, you need to go to the text-based editor. Here, you can remove the unwanted part from the video based on the text. Whatever changes you make in the text will also be reflected in the timeline. As you can see, all the changes I'm making in the text are also visible in the timeline. This feature will be helpful when you're editing a long video, all right? Now let's see what features Filmora offers. First of all, you get a lot of transitions, video effects, filters, stickers, and templates in this. In templates, you get templates in different styles, such as YouTube intro, business intro, cinematic intro, and many more. You don't need to work hard yourself. All right, for example, I download this template and then add it to the timeline. Well, this is quite a long intro. It shouldn't be this long, but, but it's okay. This is just an example. Okay. 
So if you want to change the text in this template, simply click here, then go to text, and you can replace the text here. Then save it. Now I want to bring this intro template to the beginning of the video. So first I'll zoom out the timeline. Then I'll select all the layers together and drop them to the right side. And then I'll place the intro part at the beginning. Perfect. Now, if you want to add background music along with the voice in your video, in Filmora, you get a fantastic feature called AI music. So simply go to audio, then go to AI music and hit start. Here you need to choose the mood, then choose the music theme, and then also choose the genre, then simply start it. Boom, AI music will be generated in just a few seconds. Just listen to it. So you saw that all the AI music was generated quite well. Now, if you want to use this music, simply download the music and then you can use it. But I've already used music, so I won't be using this AI music right now. All right, after this in Filmora, you get almost all kinds of sound effects like meme sound effects, pop-up, mouse click, camera shutter, etc. You don't need to go anywhere. All right. And yes, if you don't want to use AI music, Filmora also provides you with a separate music library from where you can choose any type of music. All right, after this, go to titles. You get plenty of title effects here. 3D titles, cinematics, etc. All titles have different style animations that you can simply drag and drop into your project. Below, you also get title templates where you'll find various lower thirds and title templates. So let's try using it. Now, if I want to use a heading here, I'll first download this lower third and then simply drag and drop it here. Then you can double click on it and replace the heading here. Then you can fit this box like this. Great. Then Filmora provides you with thousands of trending and powerful transitions. You just have to download the transition and then simply drag and drop it between two video clips like this. So you'll see the transition has been added. Besides, you also get thousands of video effects and beautiful filters. You just have to download them and then drag and drop them into the footage. The effect will be applied to the video. It's quite easy, guys. All right, now let's see how you can remove the chroma key or green screen. For that, first, I'll import a footage into the timeline, then I'll match it with the voice. All right, after that, select the footage layer. Go to video, then go to AI tools and enable the chroma key toggle from here. And boom, our chroma key has been removed. Now you can also adjust the offset and tolerance. So I'll cut this footage a bit and fit it properly. All right, a video doesn't look good without sound effects. So I also wanna use sound effects with this cash flow clip. So I'll go to audio, then I'll go to sound effects. And here I'll search for a cash sound effect and fix it below this clip. Nice. Now let's talk about keyframes. With the help of keyframes, you can animate any object. So let's see how. According to the video, I'll import the logos of Fiverr and Upwork into the timeline, then I'll fix both of them in their positions where they are being discussed. All right, now I want the logo of Upwork to animate from left to right. So first I'll add a shadow to both logos from here. Okay, now you need to select the Upwork logo. Place the mouse cursor at the beginning, go to transform and slide the X position to the left like this. Then add a keyframe, then move forward five to six frames and bring the position back to the right. So you can see our logo is animating now. Perfect. Similarly, we'll animate the Fiverr logo as well. This time I'll scale up the logo. So first I'll set the scale size to 0%, then add a keyframe and a little further, I'll scale the logo to 52%. So your logo will animate like this. Perfect. Now, after adding animation, we'll use the wiggle effect to enhance it further. For that, you need to go to the effect panel and search for the wiggle effect. Then drag and drop this effect onto both logos. You'll see that the wiggle effect has been added to both logos, and now it looks quite cool. Similarly, you can animate any text, logo, or image using keyframes. Second, YouTube channel.
Now I'll add another heading here, which was missed earlier. I'll simply copy and paste this heading here and replace the text of the heading. All right. Now in this shot, we need to add a sound effect. So I'll go to audio, then sound effects. And from here, I'll search for a data processing sound effect. I found this one sound effect and I'll simply drag and drop it. Okay. Now, if you wanna add text to the video, simply go to text and add a quick text. Then you can customize the text, change the font style, change the font color, and many more. Now, if you wanna add subtitles to your video, you need to select all the audio layers together, then right click and go to speech to text. Here, you simply click okay. Your speech will start converting to text and in some time, the subtitles will be ready. All right. Once you're done editing the entire video, you can select all, right click and create a compound clip. Now all your layers effects will be converted into one layer. All right, once your video is completely edited, you need to go to export and from here, you can export the video. And don't forget, you can also create thumbnails for it. So give it a try, it's very easy. Okay, so now our video is complete. Now let me tell you about some amazing features of Filmora that you're going to love. The first feature is AI image. Simply go to stock media, then AI image and click on start. Here, you need to write a prompt. Like I write a prompt, then choose the image style and hit start creating. In some time, your image will be ready and the image generated is quite impressive. If you want to use any image, simply download the image first and then you can use it in your project. All right, next AI feature is AI vocal remover. For this, if you have a voiceover with background music like this one, and you want the music and voice to be separated. So right click on the voice, then choose AI vocal remover. Within a second, this AI tool will remove the music from the voice. Perfect. The next AI feature is AI translation. For this, again, select the voice, then just click on AI translation, then choose the target language and source language and hit translate. In a short time, the audio will be translated. Starten Sie Ihren eigenen YouTube channel mit Ihren ba All right. Next amazing AI feature is remove background of any video. So I have added a video clip here and I want to remove its background. For this, select the video layer, then go to video and then go to AI tools. Here, you'll see the option for smart cutout. So turn it on, then click on start smart cutout. After that, increase the brush size a bit and paint on the object like this. Then click on Start Smart Cutout again. And the tracking process is underway, which will take at least one minute. Once the tracking process is complete, I'll simply save it. And boom, our video's background has been removed and it has done a pretty good job. The next feature is stretch music. For example, this is a piece of music and I want its length to be extended somehow. So I'll click on the audio stretch icon and simply stretch the music like this. So you see, our music has been stretched. Perfect. The next AI feature is Filmora Copilot. For this, just click on this icon and here you can ask this bot anything about Filmora. For example, if I ask, what is Filmora Copilot? It will tell me what Filmora Copilot is. Similarly, you can ask anything about Filmora. All right, in addition to this, you can add speed ramping to any video. For this, add any video, then select the video layer, go to speed, then go to speed ramping. And from here, you can use any preset. So you can see the speed ramping effect has been added in this video. This way you can make your video even more interesting. All right, now let's try out one of the most popular features, which is text to video. So I'll go back to a new project. Here you need to go to text to video. You can add the script here, but I'll generate it by AI. So I'll just click here, then enter the topic of the video here and click on generate text. You can see that the script will be ready within a second. And this script is sufficient for a video. After that, choose the AI voice and hit text to video. So our video is ready. And trust me, the video is quite good beyond my expectations. The footage is added quite well according to the script and automatic subtitles and background music are also added, which is quite good. All right, another amazing feature is AI copywriting. Simply click on AI copywriting, then select the purpose of the video here. Enter the video topic, choose the language and hit generate. You'll see that our entire script will be ready in just a few seconds. All right, so you can try this too. 
So in this way, you get a lot of AI features in Filmora that you won't find in any other software. There are many more features that I couldn't explain in this video, so if you want all the features, let me know in the comments. Now let me show you the final result of the video we edited. Hey everyone, today I'm going to share some tips on how you can turn your passion for video editing into a lucrative source of income. Let's dive right in. First, freelancing. One of the quickest ways to start making money with your video editing skills is by freelancing. Websites like Upwork, Fiverr, and Freelancer.com offer a platform to showcase your talent and connect with clients who need video editing services. As you can see, our video turned out decent. Yes, there isn't too much editing in it, but you can do limitless editing in Filmora. All right, so I hope you liked this video editing tutorial. If yes, please like the video and subscribe to the channel as well. Thank you for watching.